everybody, welcome back to Food of Dad Cubed. Right, today I'm going to make you a lovely cinnamon roll or cinnamon cake, whatever you want to call it. It is beautiful. Really, really Christmassy. Let me show the ingredients. Right, here's the ingredients. We've got some water, some dried yeast in the front, a pack of dried yeast, an egg, just some uh, dried stuff to put, some fruit. Yeah, I've got a bit of date and some apricots I'm going to put in mine. You can put other things that you want to, whatever you feel like it. Yeah? Well, because I just ate it in the cupboard, you know what I'm like. Some butter, I've got salted butter, this saves put salt in it. Some milk, plain flour, cinnamon, brown sugar, and white sugar. And that is it. Right, first thing first, milk goes in the saucepan, take it to the stove, put it to the bowl, turn it off, and put your butter in or your margarine, whatever you're gonna use, all right? Then just melt the butter. All right, so just to do, just let it bubble just a little bit, and stick the butter in, and let it melt. And that's all you gotta do, just that. I'll let it cool down a little bit, so put it at the side now. Right, so next thing we do is put the flour in. Right, flour, the yeast goes in, and the sugar goes in. Beautiful. Sorry about that, cameraman. Right, mix these in well together. Combine them all in together, yeah? Right, that mixed quite nicely. Beautiful. Right in here, put the water. Nice, cool water. The egg. It goes in. And the old the milk, the milk that you've boiled up with the butter, yeah? Put all boshes in. Just mix this in well, yeah? Mix it in, give it a nice beat. Right, mix this in nice and nice and better. Nice and better. <laughs> mix it in well this. <laughs> mix it all, combine it all together. Then we'll just put a bit more flour in. The remaining flour they kept aside. For about half. Combine that, beautiful. Put the rest of the flour in. And same again, just combine it in. Starts to make the old dough in, it's beautiful. Oh, that's lovely, it's well mixed in, that is. It's got that lovely, it's that kind of pulled together, it's, it wants to stick together, you know what I mean? It's what you want, it's a bit sticky, very nice. That's a good one now. Stick this out onto a nice clean surface, bit of pan on it, bit of the old, um, you know, plain flour. And we've just got to knead it for a while, all right? Let's just get it sticking out of here. Like a bogey you get on your finger, you know what I mean? Dry it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. That's what you've got to do now. You just, just knead this for about five minutes. Yeah, just muck about a bit, give it a good pull about, squeeze it out, push it away from ya into ya. You know, I think I've told you how to do it before. Just knead it, get all the air into it in that. And that's what you've got to do. Just about five minutes, all right? Bit of hard work, bit of muscle, but it's worth doing. Right, it's been about five minutes now. I'm not as fit as I used to be. <laughs> right. That shouldn't be too bad. That's not bad. It's, it's, it's not breaking up too bad, so it's good. Yeah, give that more dough, more, more effort you put into it. I think it's better. You know, it's a bit much better. Whew. Right. That will do gorgeous. What I should do now? Get in your pan. Stick it in there. Get some a damp tea towel. Stick it over the top. And just put that aside for about 10 minutes, okay? Just give it enough time to clean up. <laughs> right, while that's proving, get some a little bowl. Stick the old sugar in, the brown sugar. The old butter, I think I cut that up. Cinnamon goes in. And it all mixed together. <laughs> it's gonna be messy. Right, the butter goes in like that, Mark. Whatever you're gonna use. I like a bit of butter, mate. Bit of butter. Right, this all just gets mixed together now. Two with nice, fine paste, all right? Then I'll have to get the old furniture out, I think. Get the mixer out on it. <laughs> right, that's that done. I had to get the old big machine on it. It was really noisy, so I didn't want to tape it even. That's done now. It's all come down. Don't learn by my mistakes, get the old butter, cut it into the really, really small squares and it'll go in better, yeah? And get the sugar and make it fine first of all, I was a bit lumpy. All right, learn by my mistakes. <laughs> right, that's that done. That's what we've got to do now is get the dough that's been sitting for five minutes and we're going to roll it out. That's the next bit. Right, that quarter of an hour later I've had this done. Oh, it's raised up quite nice. Let's roll that nicely here. That's what we've got to do now, we get this out, sprinkle some dust on here and give it a nice roll, yeah? That'd be perfect. Right, so just put a bit of pan down the old thingy. Pop this out, sorry, caravan. Push it over there. 
for the washer upper, i.e. me. Right. So this is good here. As we got to that, just roll this out. I think this is about old money, about 12 by 9. So about, about 30 by about 23 centimeters, yeah? So just roll this out into a nice um, uh, triangle. Triangle? Rectangle is the word I was looking for. <laughs> right, that would do lovely. It's a lovely dough. That goes to one side. Probably fall on the floor. Right, just get the old sugar mix now. You just pop that in the middle. You're just going to spread this all over it, okay? So it spreads all the way over. Take it all the way in, but don't take it back about an inch from the edge. Okay? Do that first of all. Right, then just get the old erasers, whatever you're using. I'm going to use the old stuff right in the cupboards. Put it round. Sing a little song, you're ready to do it. I'm running out of the song. I can only do it for less than about three seconds, I think, as I get charged, don't I? So I don't know what DD D D D D D is, but probably someone to say, Oi, that's my song! Right, that's it there. That's what you do there, just gotta roll it up, yeah? So stop one end. Just roll it to the middle like that. And just keep on rolling it up. Beautiful. Pull it back, back at the camera. Perfect. Just get these ends and just pick them up and just just put, pitch them on, that's all you gotta do, just pitch them so it doesn't spill it out really, that's all you gotta do. Lovely. That would do gorgeous. So mate, the sun's bigger than the other. <laughs> I love it. Right, just get a sharp knife now, gonna cut these up and put them into the old um into the pot. Right, so just get some nice sharp knife now. You wanna get we're gonna get 12 because I've got oh, kick that over there. I've got 12 pots I've got to put it in. The old um muffin tinny thingy I've got here. Alright. So because it's a bit, it's a bit lappy over one end, I might probably chuck that bit away or make a jam sandwich out of it or something, you never know. Right. <laughs> Cut this up. Beautiful. That's lovely, isn't it? That's lovely. Got to do six out of here, anyway. Mm-hmm. they're going to be quite big, these. <laughs> right, just plop them in. There they go. They smell absolutely divine. Whatever that means, divine. They smell it. <laughs> Got it like that, push down like that into the thing. Right, get the old on um, the damp cloth again. Put it over them. Put these away, put them aside for about, for about 30 minutes, something like that, and let them prue again. Prue? <laughs> we call it rising up. Right, here we go. That's had a good proof in. It's about a half hour proof there. So these go in the oven now on 190C for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Just keep eye on them. Let they want to go nice and brown. Okay? Stick them in the oven. Right, there we go. Beautiful. They smell absolutely divine. Down to the tasting. Let's do some tasting. Got to let them cool down a bit though. Damn it. Right, here we go. The best bit, the tasting. They come out quite nice. I think I might have just overcooked them a little bit, but I like it like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's taste it. It's just you can't eat it warm, so it's like, oh. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Christmas is here now. Mm. That is beautiful. Truly beautiful. Please, please, please make these. Yeah, surprise your mum, surprise your girlfriend, surprise your boyfriend, anything, just make them. See you later on. Bye!